Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to slow cook monster clay. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you want to slow cook this stuff in something like this slow cooker because if it gets above 170 degrees Fahrenheit, it will burn, okay? <laughs> and uh, it actually says that right here in the instructions. These are really nice because it tells you exactly how hot to set a temperature uh, so that it doesn't burn and if you know you want to melt it it'll tell you like what temperature it'll begin to melt so that's really nice I really like that about monster clay uh, it just gives you very specific instructions and today I'm going to be showing you this slow cooker that I decided to order it just came in the mail yesterday um, because I needed something that I could kind of gauge the temperature you know I know you know usually they have a low medium or high setting Probably a low setting is going to work best. Um, maybe warm. You know, I don't, I don't know my crock pots that well. <laughs> but uh, this one I ordered because it has this probe that you plug in and stick it in there like that. And that way, that will measure the temperature and it'll show you as it heats up. I'll show you right here. Turn it on. Hit probe. And then uh, it'll give you options, high, this is low, warm. I'm going to choose a low temperature. We're going to try that. Then hit enter. See, it says 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to hit it up to 165 because this says don't go over 170. So that should keep it from getting too hot, I think. But it should put it right up at that good melting point and uh, it says just to hit enter then it beeps like that and it's ready to cook so the monster clay this stuff is also nice because according to the directions you could leave it in the container cook it in this container tear this off so what I'm going to do is take the lid off So now that that's inside, I'm just going to put the lid back on. And just see what happens. So as you can see, it changes back and forth between actual temperature and desired temperature, which is the temperature I set this at. As it gets closer to the 170 degree mark, which I did turn it up a little bit from 165 because I got impatient. <laughs> uh, as it gets closer to that mark, um, you're going to see that temperature go up. And then once it hits that temperature, it should stop warming up and it should just stay on warm setting. I mean, by warm, it'll say warm. It's not going to continue to get any hotter. Uh, it's kind of like a safety feature. And, you know, if you're cooking something in here, you wouldn't want it to overheat or cook it too hot, you know, make whatever you're cooking all chewy and yeah, you know. So after a few hours here, I'm going to uh, carefully take this lid off and I'll show you here. It's starting to liquefy. Then I'm going to set this mold here. If you remember this from one of my earlier videos last year, it was actually last winter, but I made those little hand sculptures and always put down cardboard. I, you got to put some cardboard or paper. If you put plastic, this stuff's going to melt through it and make a nasty mess. So put cardboard down or paper. I'm going to pour that in this mold here and we're going to let that cool. So I'm just going to very carefully take that hand out of the mold. And I just want to work it out really gently because I don't want any pieces to break off. 
Now you see here it's missing a couple fingers. That's because of the mold making. That's not because of the clay. If the clay is really hot, it's going to get every detail. And it did get some really good details here. So I'm going to show you one last thing and also all the links are below in the description if you want to get some monster clay or you want to try out one of these slow cookers. But when I uh, let this cool off, it didn't leave hardly any mess. I just took a paper towel and wiped up a couple drips and that was it. You can see here it all stayed in its original container. It's pretty hard, hard as a rock almost and uh, it's ready to be stored so that's it thanks for watching today don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet hit the thumbs up like button if you enjoyed this video that's all for now and uh, one last safety tip uh, if you're going to try another way of heating this stuff up please use a lot of caution because a lot of people have started fires or burned down their shops by heating up oil-based clay that's the whole reason I used a slow cooker. So please uh, just be very careful whatever you do. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.